19h, le scrutin est clos. New Caledonia is remaining a French territory. Although voter turnout was low at around 45 percent, 96 percent of Islanders who did vote rejected the latest bid for independence. It was the third and final referendum in the past three years. Voters sided with France in all of them. This victory is beautiful. It's the beginning of something new in the French Republic, and I'm proud of it. Independence groups boycotted the vote. They say holding the referendum during COVID lockdown was both unfair and led to biased results. New Caledonia is east of Australia and is strategically important to France, which has a military base there. Government leaders in Paris feared an independent New Caledonia would move closer to China, which has built economic ties and political influence on other Pacific islands. Les Calédoniennes. Les Calédoniens. New Caledonians have chosen to remain French. They have freely decided to do so. For the entire nation, this choice is a source of pride and recognition. This evening, France is more beautiful because New Caledonia has decided to stay part of it. With a population of about 275,000 and a weak economy, some analysts say having the backing of France may have given residents a sense of security which helped uh, New Caledonia with vaccines and as well as uh, all the, uh, the social uh, and economic measures helped to boost the economy during uh, this, uh, this health crisis. Now a new stage of negotiations will begin. While the territory will remain part of France, Caledonian leaders, including separatists, will have up to 18 months to negotiate with the French government and redefine a new status for the territory. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.